What's going on, everybody? Master Taint here with another war recap for you from Semper Invicta. Uh, this one was actually a little bit difficult um, at the start, at least. They had a pretty good star lead advantage. Um, it was pretty close. We had more attacks uh, done, and it was pretty tied up. But then, um, yeah, they just couldn't come through in the end. You can see on our Town Hall 10s here, they couldn't really do much. One and two stars. And uh, it does look like they have a lot of three stars against our Town Hall 9s, which they do. But a lot of those were their Town Hall 10s attacking down. They actually had uh, a lot more Town Hall 10s than us. Uh, they did have a couple of three stars from their Town Hall 9s, but mostly two stars. And uh, as we've shown, that doesn't win wars. As you can see, we won by 14 stars. So it wasn't even close. Uh, if you look at their side here, you can see we were able to two and three star all the Town Hall 10s. There was one that got away from us with just a one star uh but then when you look at the town hall nines absolutely everything got cleaned up uh for a perfect war against the town hall nine so really good job everybody um so this war i actually have two town hall 10 three stars to show you uh the first one here is by s tat versus their number five that's a shattered laloon and if you look at this base um it doesn't look like you'd be able to shatter it very easily like uh the positioning of the archer queen doesn't really work out and if you came in from the bottom here you'd be facing both inferno towers at once plus a lot of point defense um so it's not really good to come in from the bottom so he decides to come in from the left side here so both golems go in uh some wizards obviously to clean up the funnel and his archer queen now the uh, wizard ended up pulling the cc here which is kind of okay because it, it does get left behind and the um the archer queen doesn't get targeted Targeted. Barbarian King comes in, a lightning spell goes down, cleans up the rest of the CC, and a jump spell goes down, which moves these guys in towards the middle here. Uh, his Barbarian King does a lot of work here, takes out the enemy Barbarian King, and then takes out this uh, Tesla right here. Actually, I got the order a little bit wrong, but it doesn't really matter. And his Arch Queen comes in and uh, takes out uh, the enemy, um, sorry, finishes up taking out the enemy Barbarian King here, comes down, takes out the enemy Archer Queen, and then uh, does some work, takes out this Expo, and then finally makes her way down and takes out this Inferno Tower here. Uh, he doesn't end up getting this Air Defense down, but uh, he can't really wait anymore, you know, running out of time already, so he's got to start the rest of the raid. So he drops in his two Hounds on this bottom Air Defense, um, and a, two Loons per defense in behind it, and then uh, again at the uh, bottom side here, he drops in two more Loons per defense and another hound um uh, his archer queen here uh she's not doing a lot of work uh as far as taking out defenses but she was tanking for that expo for quite a long time which kept them off the hounds and off the loons um allowing them to um uh, soak up more damage from everything else and stay alive for longer uh now the Lewin's path a little bit weird here. They do eventually go to the Inferno Tower, and then to this Wizard Tower, and finally to the last Expo and Inferno, or sorry, uh, and Tesla. But they all get cleaned up really fast, and now all the defenses in this base are gone. That last loon got dropped on the cannon at the very top here, and everything's left to be cleaned up. He's got lots of pups going around. Uh, there's not really anything at the bottom yet, but uh, he has so much left over here that there's not going to be any problem when they do get down there, and everything's going to get cleaned up really fast. So really good job, S Tat, with another Town Hall 10 three stars attack all right and yeah i'm uh super excited to show you uh this guy this is his first three star as a town hall 10 with us um he was a really awesome town hall 9 player went to town hall 10 and uh yeah he's finally able to pick up uh, where he left off and get some more three stars for us. So he begins here, dropping in a few loons on this bottom defenses, the cannons and the archer tower. Uh, also gets the CC pulled, so really good trade here. Only loses a few loons and gets all that stuff down. And like I said, gets the CC pull. Pulls him over to the right side of the base here. Now, even at Town Hall 9, uh, this guy always liked to do his loon drops to take out the CC. And he's going to do the same thing here at Town Hall 10. Uh, so a bunch of barbarians come out. And a bunch of uh, archers come out, and they're just trying to, to bunch up the CC as much as possible. You know, the witch is really slow, and the wizards aren't as slow as the minions and the skeletons and everything, obviously. Uh, so it does take a little while just to get everything bunched up into one nice package here. Uh, he does manage to do it pretty well. Some archers go out and around, and you see now he's got them all in this one little ball. Loon comes out and kills absolutely everything, except the minions, obviously, and uh, the max level wizards, which will survive one loon drop, but only with a sliver of health. But as soon as his um, archer queen and golem and wizards and everything over here, they're going to get cleaned up really quickly and really fast. <laughs> quickly and fast. Uh, then he drops in some wall breakers, uh, moves the golem up to the top here. The archer queen's doing her thing, taking out uh, a bunch of these buildings, uh, making their way to the inside. Barbarian king comes in. Uh, Could have gone the wrong way because he does start to walk around the base, but as soon as the enemy archer queen um, targets on the golem, the barbarian king comes into the rescue and takes it out. Uh, uses his ability really uh, here really quickly, but um, 
Uh, look how much work his heroes actually do in this raid now. Uh, that archer, or sorry, that air defense has now gone down. Uh, his archer queen is now taking out this inferno tower. Then she's going to move in, take out this expo. His barbarian king goes up and takes out this Tesla and takes out this air defense. So with just his heroes and the golem and like all of his um his cold blood here, he's able to take out all those towers. And his archer queen uh, does some work and takes out the town hall and does some uh, takes out a bunch more stuff there. So really good job with his heroes. Um, uh, some hounds came in from the bottom side with a couple loons per defensive behind. Free spell goes down over the Inferno Tower. Loons come up and take it down. Uh, he has a second free spell, but he didn't even really need it on this raid because he got all those towers down at the beginning here. Uh, so he drops them down over the uh, last Teslas and the Expo there. Get taken out really fast. Now look how many loons he has left alive here. Uh, he actually has one hound that survives the raid, and that almost hurts him. This raid was really close on time. I believe it only came down to like the last five seconds or so, and uh, it, it could have gone either way and it could have ended up in a two star but uh, luckily he does have a lot of pups left over his uh, minions and wizards are alive here and the loons take out the towers at the top and everything gets cleaned up really nice so really good job ctc uh welcome back to the three star game man all right and uh there were a couple town hall nine uh replays i want to show you here actually like uh really early in the war we got mostly all their bottom town hall nines taken care of really fast except for the bottom couple ones and then uh, we had some issues with the top Town Hall 9s, and a lot of our guys that are lower on the list here, you can see uh, Pedro here is number 24, had to attack, attack a lot higher. Uh, you can see he doesn't have his Barbarian King for this raid either, and he's attacking uh, number 14. Uh, but he does it beautifully. Uh, some wizards are already going in, already cleaning up the funnel. Uh, he dropped in some hogs there to move in, uh, pull the CC and take out the top tower there. Archer Queen, one witch, and uh, some wizards go in behind to clean up the CC. Uh, he knew that there was no witch in the CC. This was a cleanup attack, so he knew he wouldn't need two witches in order to take it out, which is really great. He can use that space, bring a couple other wizards, which is what he did. Uh, cleans up this wide funnel. Archer Queen goes down. Now, uh, using your Archer Queen to kill the enemy Archer Queen is, is sometimes very difficult, because of the range on the Archer Queen. She doesn't get in there and target fast enough. Um, but the way he came in at the space from the top corner here works perfectly. So while this Golem moves into that Archer Tower, now he's, uh, the enemy Archer Queen is going to come up and be in range here. And um, his Archer Queen is going to take it out. He didn't even need that jump spell, as you can see. But now the Archer Queen is going to be doing some work and cleaning up a bunch of stuff in the middle here. He dropped in his Hogs at a really good angle at the side here. Uh, takes up those two towers there and... Um, Keeps them all bunched up as they come through here. Keeps the heal spells alive as they go through the uh, giant bombs. Um... Uh, they do split up into two groups here. That one heal spell was a little bit late. He did lose some hogs here, but uh, he has a nice little pack going through the bottom here, and he has a good pack going through the top of the base at the same time, and they're going to be able to take care of these last towers really easily. Um, the he last heal spells have all gone out here, but now all of his hogs are at full health. There's The only really threat is this one wizard tower, which is going to get taken care of. Uh, the hogs flank it, which works out really well, so they're not going to be hitting all the hogs at the same time. And now this archer tower goes down, and everything's left to be cleaned up. The hogs take care of the last skeleton traps archer queen gets rid of the barbarian king in the middle and everything else else gets cleaned up really quickly so really good job pedro and I do have a, a fourth attack I want to show you today uh, this one is by Lorenzo versus their number 19 um, I've showed this guy doing a couple surgical hogs before and he does them really well so uh, this one is no exception um, he actually gets away with extra hogs and an extra spell at the end so it works out really cool now like I said this was a cleanup attack so he knew that Tesla was going to be there giant comes in and a few hogs per defense here on this cannon and this archer tower they're going to get both those towers taken out before the raid even begins and get the entire CC pulled um, takes a little bit here just because those hogs take a while to die because like I said everything was focused on the giants so the hogs have basically free range to the bottom of the base there uh, you can see the only really possible places for double giant bombs in this base are going to be in the core here so um, Bringing through a big pack of hogs is really dangerous because you don't know where they're really going to path. Um, so doing this as a surgical hog works really well. So a giant, or sorry, a golem comes in here. A bunch of wizards and his uh, witches and archer queen come in through the top. Uh, and his barbarian king gets dropped really late. Unfortunately, he does start to wander around the base. Um, so this jump spell that he drops here, it really wasn't even needed because the barbarian king's wandering around. Uh, his archer queen takes out the enemy archer queen here. And now he's going to start dropping his hogs. So a giant comes down uh, track and waits for the, um, the towers here to focus on the giant. And then drops in a few hogs per defense going through here. You see all these towers are going to get taken out before any hogs die. Beautiful heal spell goes 
goes down to move these hogs into the core. Um, I guess the jump spell here was a little bit good because um, it's going to move his uh, his witch's skeletons here. And you can see he's got these two skeletons in the core here. Um, and they're going to come down and... Oh, sorry. They pop one of the giant bombs and one hog pop the other giant bomb. So none of those are going to be a threat anymore. Uh, you can see he's also dropped in his hogs coming on the other side of the base. And now they're all going to be making their way through the middle here. Um, Expo gets taken down. You can still he still has a heal spell. Three hogs, a wizard, uh, an archer, and two barbarians left over. He doesn't even need to drop them. Uh, I believe he does save the spell because, you know, it's elixir. And why waste elixir when you don't need to? But he does drop the hogs in here uh, just to help get the cleanup going on the last of the, on the rest of these uh, defenses. But this base gets taken out really fast. So really good job, Lorenzo. Keep up with the surgical hot man because, uh, yeah, you're really good at it. And you're an inspiration to all of us. Da -da 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 -da. All right, everybody. Well, there is another war recap for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Master Taint signing off saying think smart, raid smart, and I will see you again next time. Bye.